Today I am so excited to share with you a way that you can use our Sun Glow overlays even if you don't have Photoshop. We have found this free program called PicMonkey. It allows you to edit photos, create collages, and use our Sun Glow overlays. I'm going to show you how easy it is to use and customize these overlays using PicMonkey. The first thing you need to do is open your internet browser and go to PicMonkey.com. You do not need to have an account or login in order to edit, although you can sign up for a membership if you want to. The first thing you need to do is go up to your edit icon here and this bar will pop up and you can just click wherever you have your image saved and then find on your computer where you have it. Okay, and then just choose your image and click open. Once your image is in here, you can go over to your sidebar and you can play with these different tools to sharpen, resize, rotate, stuff like that. Uh, there's other, also other effects in here you can look at, but the one that we're going to look at right now is overlays, which is the butterfly icon. They have some pre-made overlays that you can play around with in here as well, but today I'm going to show you how to add your own in. Those are going to be the ones that you purchased from our store, so just click on your own, and then find your sun glow and click on open. Now you can see it popped up real small here, so we can make it bigger if we want it bigger. If you want it smaller, you can keep it smaller. Uh, just click the circle in the corner and drag. You have to hold it down while you're dragging. Let's say we want it this big and we're going to stick it right here. Now that looks kind of unnatural so we're going to want to change it to make it look more glowy, more real. And we're going to go to blend modes in your overlay pop-up box and come down here and you can change it to these different ones and if you scroll over it you can see what they look like. I usually like to use screen for this. If it's too harsh you can fade it by moving this back and forth. You can make it bigger. You can make it smaller. Okay. Move it around and see where I want it. Let's stick it right about here. So you can do it on screen. If there's somewhere where you don't want it to be, you can erase it. I'm going to undo that with this button here. You can usually need to keep your eraser hardness down pretty low so that it looks more natural when you erase it. See? You can paint it back on if you use this paintbrush tool here, if you decide that you did want it there or if you took off too much. So once you have your picture the way that you want it, just go up here and click on save. Rename your photo to whatever you want it to be called. Uh, you can save it as a JPEG or a PNG file. Since it's a photo, I like to save it as a JPEG. You can choose your image quality and then click save to my computer. Find where you want it to be saved and then click save. Once it's done, it will say Masterpiece Saved, and then you can go on to continue to edit this picture, or you can close out and start a new one. 